Greetings, greetings, family. This is Kali, the Master Headhunter, the Dark Womb Priestess, Dark Womb Goddess. So, one last video, I believe, for the day. It's going to be very, very brief. Very, very, very brief, you guys. So, I'm just sitting here drinking my water, having me a nice little glass of wine in the afternoon, evening. And I, um, something crossed my mind. It was like, you got to do one more video. And I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go. So, I notice how the males, a lot of men or a lot of people get caught up in what's going on in the entertainment world with black people like in hip hop and should we follow this person and should we do this, should we do that. I feel like those are distractions as well. Oh, excuse me, those are distractions because when you think about it, why are we concerned with some entertainers that work for the enemy and I'm not talking about Caucasian people guys because those are just shells of what's going on because you have black people that are just as guilty and um, they work for the entertainment industry you know they work for politics and all that and I don't understand see this is another thing I was talking about when I oh my god this is another I don't like Nats this is another thing I was talking about when I was talking about how males get caught up in drama and they wanna or I can't even say males but our people get caught up in drama because from what I've learned our people are so lost that they wanna hold on to something like religion or like an ideology or a person or you know um an entertainer i can't stand that you guys but they want to get caught up our people want to get caught up on those things and that is so far away from where we are supposed to be as a people it's it's pitiful it, it really is pitiful to watch i laugh all the time um because it's like our people hold them in such high regard like <sighs> let's use J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar for a lack of better terms right yeah even though a sister got a wig on I still have the capacity and the authority to talk about these things okay they want to hold them two men in such high regard well I'm gonna be honest <sighs> what I see is weakness i see now being in touch with your feminine side is one thing but being soft as medicated cotton i said it like a man ain't it high. <laughs> being soft like medicated cotton is another thing and it's like there's no masculinity there there is no what you look at and think of a male it's not there in a lot of these men i can name names like charlemagne a lot of the rappers a lot of the entertainers, um, Hollywood people, you know, the masculinity in these males are feminine. They don't have male masculine principles anymore. They are very, very feminine from the clothes they wear to the colors they decide to what they do to their hair. Like my daughter, she's 17. So she was born in the year 2000. So she doesn't think the way I, well, she, I've been able to penetrate and teach her a lot of things, but their culture, it's like, you know, nothing's wrong with that. That's how everybody does. And it's like, are you serious? I've been here for 40 years, sugar. You can't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't get me wrong. The youth are supposed to get better. But the thing about it is when I see the youth um, participating in homosexual uh, ritualistic activity that they really don't understand, where the culture and then people know where the, the culture of the sagging pants came from which is prison but they don't care and men are dying their hair dying the tips of their dreads or dying their hair a certain color and they think that's masculine that is not masculine that's very feminine men debating and arguing bitching as you want to call it that is not masculine that is very very feminine men are very emotional now that which is nothing is wrong with being emotional but if you're emotional to the point to where you're acting like a woman how am i supposed to respect you as a man 
like for to hear I'm not gonna drop no names right now but I was listening to an interview and I just heard some bitch ass nigga shit talking about if you mention my name I'm gonna find you personally and slap the shit out of you you could be in your nice ass car nigga and I'm gonna slap the shit out of you cause you done said something about me that's some bitch ass nigga shit and I'm not trying to be funny I'm keeping it 100% 1000 real that's some bitch ass nigga shit. You're gonna go and hit another man because he has something to say that he didn't like about you. How many times have you said something about somebody else with your bitch ass? And another nigga grand. That's right. That's right. Y'all some soft ass bitch ass niggas. It's one thing for the feminine energy to be here, but y'all not supposed to be acting like females. And I don't see a lot of masculinity. Now, don't get me wrong, I do see some masculine males out here, though. Most of the time, they be some of the, they be the older men. They be the older men. You know, men who are like my age and older. Not all of them. Because <laughs> some of them trying to keep up with these youth. But a lot of the men my age and older... You know, I see more masculinity from them than I see with the younger men. And I think that's a pitiful goddamn shame. And I'm concerned because I don't want my daughter being with no soft-ass man, no soft-ass nigga that can't protect her. And I don't want her to go to a Caucasian or any other male for that matter because no black man has enough masculinity in her age group to be able to protect her. Come on. That is the main reason why I didn't date men my age when I was younger. I dated older men because I found that they could protect me and teach me more and help me elevate more than these younger men that I was mess that I was around. And you can be mad at what I say. I don't give a damn sugar. Go to Home Depot, purchase you a ladder, and get over it. Okay, because that's just what my eyes see. I see some soft ass niggas. I see soft ass black men. Not all of you brothers, but a lot of you are soft as men. This is the not the younger ones, like my age and younger. Soft, soft. The ones in their twenties. I thought some of these dudes was my age. They look old as hell. And I'm like, how are you 24 years old and you look like an old ass nigga that's been sitting on the corner drinking all his life? That's not good. And you soft? And you soft? Come on, boo. And you got some soft ass older men. Don't get me wrong. We see that right now in the conscious community, but we're not going to name any names, now, are we? <laughs> but I don't like that. And I'm going to call you on your soft nigga shit. So I feel like a lot of y'all males need to ante up on y'all masculinity. I'm not saying all of you males, but a lot of you, y'all need to ante up on y'all masculinity. Because y'all looking bad right now. Y'all looking real bad. You can't even protect a black woman. Because you're too busy arguing and bitching in between yourselves. Being feminine. Most of the women got more balls than y'all. Why do you think most of these women is with other women? I'm not excusing it, but I'm just keeping it real. If you're not going to defend my honor, then I don't want nothing to do with you. And I'm going to write your ass off because you a bitch and you're soft. Alright? Much love later. I'm out of here. I will see you on my next.